All right, y'all, we back. Got the gloves on. Film. Gun is clear. Magazine is not even nowhere near the gun. So here it is loaded, but you know, gonna be doing a range video very, very soon. And stay tuned to the end of this video. We're gonna be doing a drawing because soon we're gonna be getting a new gun and I'm gonna need y'all to be the ones that's gonna be deciding, you know, what's gonna be the gun we're gonna get next. It's silly gonna be, stay tuned to the end of this video, you know. Can't, I can't say too much right now because we're just gonna do a little clean. I'm gonna show y'all. Also, this is kind of gonna be a tutorial, you could say. First things first, you wanna do, grab your long stick part. Sorry again, I don't know the name, but obviously this is your cleaning tool that's gonna get down into the barrel a lot more. You know, take your third piece. This piece right here, you stick a piece of gun cleaning cloth. I don't know about any other cloth out there. I don't know if it's gonna put more debris or something in your gun, but you put your gun cleaning cloth in between here, kind of like a sewing and thread needle. And you just go in there, get in dirt, down in dirt, clean it out. You're gonna be using brake free clip, CLP, I guess cleaning lubricant and preservative that's clp right there yeah that's why we're using gloves Def definitely want to use gloves uh stay out away from using stuff with your hands and getting especially if you're putting rounds through your gun i haven't put any rounds through mine but you know stuff like that can occur you can just get poisonings diseases and messing with lead carbon Stuff like that, y'all. Definitely want to stay away. These are what the cloths look like. Uh, not really a technique on way to do it, but uh, you just slip it in between here. Give it a wrap or so. Don't get too lost. You just going in and cleaning the gun, man. So, as far as this part, y'all know. If you have a Glock, not too far back, at least right there, pull down on your side pins, which are located right here, right here. Come right off. See that? Let me see if I can get real, uh, real in there. Gosh, I'm telling y'all, I really needed this cleaning. Shout out to my friend, man. Shout out to Chris, man. I really needed this cleaning. Sheesh. Next thing you wanna do, take your pin out, up like so. Should be just a up and out type of pressure. This way and out again, this way, up, out. Next, you have your slide, your barrel. Barrel comes right out, right here. Back, up, out. There goes your barrel. Again, we have spring in your barrel, recoil spring in your barrel. Then you have your slide. Obviously, like I said, I don't have the pins. I know I could um, use, obviously probably like a pencil or something like that, but I just don't wanna get any other thing stuck in my gun. Obviously, that's not a tool that's meant to be stuck down in there and possibly get, you know, other things I don't want already, man. Just take a look at this. Some of that is the gun oil that was, you know, lubricated and stuff already when I bought it, but if you know, you know. Some of that is just flat out dirt, debris, my cat hair, and just dust from build up, man. Just sitting in the house. It's very, very dusty out here. Live in a desert, so it's definitely gonna build up a lot of dust. Check out the frame though, it's even worse. You can definitely see what I'm talking about when it comes to my freaking, my animals, man. Leaving everything in here, it's just crazy. Crazy. I knew you guys were sitting there cringing right now. I'm hurt with y'all. I'm hurt. 
but we're gonna do this cleaning we're gonna get down up in there but i'm gonna be using also toothbrush so i can extra you know make sure i'm getting all all the, all the way in there we're gonna get all that all right now we are going to start cleaning little things first such as slide i mean to my hand the barrel Lay a towel down underneath, get your parts separated, spread out. But yeah, y'all, also, later on, like I said, I'm going to be doing kind of like a raffle, I guess you could say, a drawing. But my next gun, I need y'all help on deciding what it's going to be. I'm looking either to get a 5.7, you know, either just something bigger in caliber or a... Uh, just full on bigger in size you know my next gun i just want to go all out and get something that's different i don't really want to get a nine yeah i said earlier i wanted to get um you know what a glock collection you could say but right now i think i just want to get something different something bigger bigger caliber even if I might even want to get a bigger caliber and a um, concealed um, size, you could say. So, um, what, Glock 22? Is that the concealed version of the 40? Or is that the 23? But you know what I mean? Like, I either want to get something like that or just something full on bigger. I've been looking at the Ruger 5.7, obviously. We might have to get that just because of the channel and the name, y'all. Like, I honestly might have to get that. Like, that's my favorite caliber ever since I've seen a first 5.7 functional in the games, Call of Duty, obviously like that. But I think I went to go shot, uh, shoot one, my first time shooting guns on my birthday. And it was, it, it felt like nothing. Like it was just, it was no recoil. And it was just a interesting caliber to get into, to see live action. I was like, damn, okay, I think I want to get this later down the line once I start, you know, getting my own guns and stuff like that. But yeah, it's either gonna be a 5.7 I've been looking at. Honestly, everybody's been getting these MPA Defenders and those look nice too. I think I might get a Mac looking gun. Like it's a nine, yeah. But you know, that's obviously just because they don't have the version that I've been looking at in 45 or a 40. So I don't mind getting that nine. If I'm gonna get another nine, I don't mind getting the MPA Defender, you know, 30 round clip very nice very nice gun y'all if y'all haven't seen that yet go check that out um uh, sorry now i'm just it's kind of hard for me to clean my spring because the more i clean it, it's like the cat hair is just still lingering don't get cats if you have guns or just animals that shed it's just not working out <laughs> golly can't even keep my things clean man it's just everywhere yeah. yeah the only glock i'm interested in getting this time around if i do get a glock this time around y'all would be a 10 millimeter i already hear people in the comments what do you need such a big caliber for like i said i just want to get you know i, I am gonna skip this but i do want to get later down the line like what every caliber or every version of Glock there is out there. So why not start off with nine, 10, and then work my way up or down from there. But honestly, you know, there's no routine or pattern for me. I just want, you know, what's out there, what's available. And he said, there's only um, one, 10 mil one 10 millimeter left. So why wouldn't I take the advantage of going to get that if I'm gonna, you know, potentially get every caliber glock anyway you know what i mean so and it's a bear gun we ain't i don't i don't i don't go camping i don't like bears but uh come across one i'm gonna have a gun for you you know what i mean so why not now i'm just taking my stick with the cloth on it running it through a couple times I didn't really put the oil on this one yet. I did, if y'all was watching, I was messing up because I was getting ahead of myself talking too much. But uh, you want to run your dry ones through first. 
you know, you want to do a dry cleaning. Just get all the dirt and stuff. Make sure you get some tension in there so you can scrape every because every piece of dirt out of there. Because honestly, this barrel is not just all the way, like, it's not just a flat out circular barrel. It's got some slide channels in there that circle, kind of do like a spiral thing, like James Bond, you know what I mean? The opening It's like, if y'all can get a look in there, see those spiral channels in that barrel, make sure you want to get all the dirt, all the debris, everything that's in there is just filthy, brothers. But yeah, what was I saying now? MPA Defender, Ruger 5.7, 10 millimeter Glock. What else was on that list, y'all? Ah, I either wanna get, it's gonna be an AR that I'm gonna put on the list, hopefully. I'm not gonna say hopefully, cause it's up to y'all, but uh, 5.56, 7.62, 223, looking into getting one of those. The, the main ones I'm looking into getting is either uh, the basic M lock 5.56223, or we're looking at um, me and my fiance are actually looking at the Micro Draco for like 1300. But honestly, there's a Hell Pup, which is I think the American version, a little bit cheaper, like eight nine hundred. That's like the same price I pay for, you know, pistol price. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the list as well hell pup micro draco whatever you want to say that's going to be going on the list as well for what we might get up to y'all blow this video up please 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 if y'all made it in so far and put this down real quick now give a dry cleaning right here to the frame with toothbrush and then I'm gonna go in there with the I'm kind of doing this backwards you know I was watching GHG Hus, so I didn't really see or pay attention to the pattern he was cleaning his but that's obviously because he field stripped his all the way down to Adam and I didn't really you know have the parts again to or feel comfortable to field strip mine all the way down this time because I haven't even put rounds through it so I do know the debris that was in here is already scaring me to the point where I might have uh, short primer malfunctions. I hope I don't. I'm not speaking that into existence or anything. I'm just saying that's the most common functions with malfunctions with P80 that I've been seeing. Your boy does his research. He has to. You have to do your research if you're getting into guns. You have to definitely because you don't want to. You don't want to be in a situation, boy, where you got to use your gun and it don't work that's all i'm gonna say you know you gotta know how to work the gun why would you get a, why would you get some shoes i ain't gonna say that so sometimes i get some shoes i don't even know who that is but they look nice because of the color but you can't do that with guns you can't just get the color because it looks nice you got to understand your weapon you have to know how to break down your weapon you have to know how to clean your weapon uh, take out the magazine safely maneuver your weapon like everything Sorry if I'm talking too much, y'all, but this is me wanting to get into this gun business all professionally. I know I'm still lacking on, you know, words and other things like that. Definitely want to get in that barrel. I know I'm not all the way getting in there per se, but, you know, I haven't put any rounds through it. So hopefully this basic base cleaning of the frame, barrel, spring, and my slide is good enough for my first range day coming up. If y'all stay tuned, range day will be soon. I promise y'all, I said I was gonna stay consistent and I'm trying to be, I honestly am trying to be consistent, but you know, I only have this one firearm. So um, with that being said, like I said, I'm gonna get another one and that's up to y'all to decide. Either we're gonna be looking at an MPA uh, nine millimeter mag defense. Ugh. I'm saying that wrong, but it's like a Mac 9 Tech 9, whatever you want to say. Uh, 30 round clip hangs out at the bottom, pretty long. I think it's all polymer. It's a nice gun. 
honestly, I'd get it for my classic collection of guns, you could say. Like, I want to get an AK-47 Gold or, you know, stuff like that. Just old classic guns that are of my interest and stuff like that. I'm from California, so you can base it off of that, you know, off the rap scene, just listening to music and classic guns they got and stuff like that. But we're going to be doing this legal, whatever, whatever. I ain't, I ain't saying they weren't doing it legal, but, you know, whatever, whatever. I do have an interest in firearms, very much so. And further down the line, if I get my FFL and other certifications, stuff like that, y'all can go ahead and bring y'all, I'm talking to all y'all, y'all can go ahead and bring y'all stuff by the shop, get it cleaned up, stuff like that. I don't mind, I'm in charge though. Oh yeah. This part's kind of boring, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm just making sure this thing is functional, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be ready to go. Or it's going gonna, it's gonna to go. <laughs> For real. But yeah, y'all. Y'all let me know. I know I got a little wrist whatever, but that 10 mil is just calling me. It just looks nice. It's a big caliber. Who wouldn't want a 10 millimeter? Come on now. You got the hollow bullets for it, everything. Oh my gosh, it's, it's just a nice gun. It's, it's nice. It's nice sounding. Everything. Ten millimeter. Ten. You got a ten. Yeah, I got a ten millimeter. I know them Chris vectors come in ten millimeter, but them Chris vectors are some expensive, man. And I'm not. I'm not there in the YouTube world. I ain't got that many subscribers. If y'all made it this far, go ahead and subscribe so we can get that far. But as of right now, I'm not that far. You know, I'm not spending all or outrageous amounts of money just going to gun shows and stuff like that like uh who the brother is that watch uh life with ob he finds really good deals like on the daily if not weekly on good deals he's the one that's kind of got me into my first viewings of the mp M mpa defender stuff whatever you want to say uh that mac 9 tech 9 chambered in 10 millimeter 45 40 or 9 millimeter those are really nice guns honestly it's a classic gun like i said you can't really say much about it if you know your guns if you've been you know in the gun world ever since you was little and stuff like that you just know your you just know what they look like you know as of right now i'm cleaning my slide this is what the frame came out to look like. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. That smell of that gun oil. I don't know if y'all have like weird cravings of, I know some people like the smell of gasoline and stuff like that. So don't judge me, don't come for me saying, oh my God, he's weird. You know, people have their weird smells that they like. I love the smell of gun cleaner now. Like now, now I know this, this is like cleaning out a car, man. This is beautiful. This is artwork to me right here, baby. And I'm going here with this, clean it with the cloth. That cloth really does wonders, y'all. It grabs every single piece of hair, debris, stuff like that. Make sure you want to change them out, though, a couple times here and there while you're cleaning your gun. Yeah, that 10 millimeter, man. I can't stop talking about that one. If we do get it, that's gonna be a nice Glock edition, but then I'm gonna be feeling like, dang, I got two Glocks. I wish I got something different. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's up to y'all. Don't fail me, y'all. Don't. I want to be happy with my selection, but then again, you know, with this YouTube that I'm gonna be doing, you know, for the long run, whatever. I don't want to make it seem like I'm not gonna get more. So you know, whatever we get, we get, and from there. We're gonna do videos on it. I'm gonna teach y'all the ins and outs on every firearm that I get on this channel. So it'll be like a review slash tutorial, you know what I mean? And, you know, yeah, we'll just go from there. If y'all been catching up with the news, been keeping up, Biden has really shut down the whole operation on ghost guns and stuff like that. It's not like I had that in mind, but you know, further down the line, like I said, with my FFLs, I did want to um, 
I've been watching MDX Arms and shout out to Ayo, it's Mike. Uh, he's been doing a lot of videos on, you know, just P80s, ghost guns and stuff like that. You know, I have a P80, so it's like he's shutting down the operation on the ones that are, you know, you can get legally and unserialized, which I feel like is not bad. It's honestly cheaper and shit, if you know what you're doing, it's just more reliable. Like sometimes more than um, Glock factory made parts, not dissing them, shout out to them too. They're just, you know what I mean? P80 does their thing for cheap, like more affordable, I can say, you know what I mean? That's that's the biggest thing I, I'm gonna run with. It's just more affordable. And you buy these parts separately and uh, build them up together yourself. You have to get that experience, you know? You know? I haven't, I can't honestly be a hypocrite and say, I built this one, I bought this one pre-built for 560 walking out the door, but still, like I'm saying, it's a P80, so if I were to buy uh, aftermarket parts and put them on here and add them on there and stuff like that, then I'm gonna have to know what I'm doing, you know what I mean, so. But yeah, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't really, I'm like, damn. I was just getting into it, you know? That's what's going on in the world, though. But um, stay tuned still. We're, gonna, we're still going to get our FFLs and work on getting a gunsmith certification license so we can work behind the counter, fix on guns for a career for as of right now. And hopefully all this ATF calms down, you know? Calm down, y'all. Hopefully they calm down and, you know, the government and Biden laws and all that stuff calms down. Because honestly, we're doing things legal around here. I'm not really worried about anybody else. Yeah, I'm watching and, uh, you know, as far as research purposes, everybody else's channel and seeing what I can do to improve my weapons and stuff like that and make sure, you know, Make sure I'm doing this because I want to do this and I love to do this. And this is something I love and I want to do. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get out of the working world, honestly. I played a lot of sports growing up. So everybody that's saying I'm young, working in the field that I do as of right now, everybody's saying that I'm young and I can keep on pushing. I did all that for sports, man. I'm, I've been breaking my back for the coaches, like... I think I'm just about done. I want to get into a career where I can sit down and say I love doing this and I can make money doing so. And that's why I want to get my FFLs and certifications to really, you know, sit at home. I believe it's FFL type one, three, and seven that'll allow me to do this in home and ship, distribute, trade, and work on, fix parts from home. You know, who, who wouldn't want to do that? Like my other career, you could say, career path that I wanted to follow also along with, not with guns, but like backup plan you could say was basketball. And you know, that also was kind of like the same thing. I was gonna go overseas, you know what I mean? And play basketball. So I had to do my research for that too, but I kind of lost track of what I was saying, y'all, sorry. But yeah. All these things I wanna do because I wanna enjoy them and I wanna have fun doing it, not having to, I don't wanna go to work in today. I don't wanna go in today. I'm not feeling it. You know, I wanna wake up and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make some money. You know what I mean? I'm finna, I'm finna make some shit today, you know, like, that's fun to me. I wanna work on guns and parts all day. That's that's honestly fun to me. And if I could work for a um, police firm, whatever like that, later down the line, or the armory in the military or something like that, that's fine too. Like, I'm just trying to get the narrative or the picture off of me that I'm African-American and have dreads and I'm, I'm into guns, why? I don't know, you tell me, I got a clean record. You know, it's just fun. It's honestly fun. I know I'm gonna get eyes and 
negative views for what do you mean what do you mean by that like it's fun shit it's fun if you know what you're doing it's fun like it's like cleaning a car if you have a mechanic that loves cleaning and fixing on a car like that's a good mechanic so i'm just saying yeah i want to be a good gunsmith sure I definitely want to get the recognition doing this, being a brother, you know. I don't want to have to cut my hair and look all like a certain way for nobody. This is going to be me. And whoever, you know, clicks on, subscribes, supports that, I support y'all. I thank y'all. If y'all made it down the line in this video this long, I thank you again. Shoot, I know I'm kind of boring y'all to death just talking and cleaning my gun, but I'm making sure this thing is spotless. I'm even getting in here, y'all. Yeah, you just want to keep on running these cloths through. I'm trying to get in the trigger system best way I can without disassembling it all the way. Sometimes you might have to just take it off, crumble it up. Get down in some parts, you know, and just get in there. Get in there. <sighs> Give a couple of those. <sighs> you know, I know y'all clean the game just back in the day. I know it wasn't always working. <laughs> Give it a little. <sighs> <sighs> Make sure y'all don't put too much oil, or as soon as you go to blow, it's gonna blow all in your face. Near this back plate, I feel like collects so much dirt. So we're just really trying to get all in the crevices, grooves, mechanisms, stuff like that, y'all. But after I get done with this cleaning, I'm gonna give more of elaboration on, you know, um, how we gonna do this voting thing and stuff like that. I don't think I have enough followers or whatever on YouTube right now to do a. a a voting poll or I just don't know how to do it right now but uh you know I'm gonna just leave it up to y'all in the comments and if y'all can if y'all have followed the uh, YouTube I mean uh my Instagram page that I made for the channel you know go ahead and leave me suggestions in DMs whatever like that click on one of my photos and you know leave me a comment whatever whatever we are gonna be getting a new gun very soon. It's up to y'all. Either an AR or a different caliber pistol. Honestly, it might be an AR pistol. Now we're just gonna take a look on how everything looks. I'm 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 happy with the outcome. Everything looks spotless like I just bought it. You know. trying to go back and make sure I don't leave any cat hair. I feel like everything I wipe down for a second time leaves the cat hair, if you know what I mean. Cause I clean it and then I wipe it again, you know. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm not trying to have the thing looking like me on an extra hot day. <laughs> but uh, I'm not trying to have this thing extra lubricated or moist or whatever you want to say. Just enough so Things can go click clack smoothly, you know. You know what I'm saying? Just so we can hear that beautiful sound of everything uh, of the slide. You know what I mean? Just so we can hear that beautiful sound. How's y'all day going? Snacks, everything, y'all good? All right. <laughs> All right, now, reassemble. This is easy, obviously, because it was just a three-step process. One, your barrel, go back. Make sure your, this is a nine, so make sure your nine by 19 is all the way to your, this is my right hand, y'all. This is my left hand, I'm right-handed. 
make sure the 9 by 19 is this way. Make sure the barrel is that way because here's your exit. You know, here's your barrel. Slide it in. Be all the way like that. You know, just until you can slide it back and it drops down. No more wiggle. All right. After that, God damn. That's what I was talking about. As soon as I set it down back on the towel, it just picks all that hair back up, y'all. You know? And obviously I know if I go to shoot it, you know, those flames or whatever that kick up from the gun, it'll burn these hairs right off. But it's just the fact I don't wanna see that. I don't wanna, I want to be a spotless gun, you know? All right, so after it's, you got your spring with this end, Take it out so you can see it again. The part that probably looks like a flat end of a bullet. You wanna take that end of your spring, place it right here. Now you wanna give it a little tension, spring it down until it clicks right here and you have that much space from your spring and this other piece of metal right here that's connected to your barrel. Sorry, right here. I know because my gloves is not all the way there, right here. So it's gonna look like that. All right. And you just wanna give it a little placement make sure it's, you know, right in the middle because sometimes that thing will slip this way. It'll slip that way. And that's really not something you want to slip out of place when you're going to fire because the whole slide might just pop off or you might have a um, you might have a malfunction to where you click and it clicks forward like it just doesn't click clack it doesn't go back and it doesn't um, shoot a bullet out or nothing like that this is your recoil spring, so it's very important that you put this on um, and just give it a little placement, make sure it's, you know what I mean, going all the way down the middle and tapped in, make sure it's not popped up or anything like that. If anything, you're having problems like that, just go ahead and get another spring. <sighs> Picked up the frame, see some hairs on top, just give it a wipe down. Pretty sure my gloves is quite lubricated, so, you know, I can go ahead and run my fingers in through like that and pick up all the loose hair that might have been put back on for me putting it on the floor, I mean, on, on the towel again. But uh, I'll probably give it one more run down with this cloth, actually, y'all. Uh, I'm telling y'all, we gonna be, we gonna give this thing a cleaning that it truly deserves. Not even going to the range next day or anything, but still, y'all, we're gonna make sure this bad boy is spotless. Make sure this bad boy is ready to go, go. This is the home defense weapon as of right now, still. Mm, concealed carry, but again, uh, that's up to y'all on what the next gun is. If it's gonna be concealed carryable or if it's gonna be all out, you know, home defense weapon because it's a little bit bigger, stuff like that. But shoot, I'm pretty sure with that micro Drake, it's a pistol. I can take out the clip, I can put it down my pants, y'all. I, I can fit that, I can fit that. That's a maybe though. All right, so now you got everything clean. You wanna make sure these two parts right here, I wanna call them the tongs, the forks, goes right goes right down here you can see those two indents the grooves right here they kind of look like the inside of the oven when you put the play uh, put the flat rack down this right here is basically your flat rack these two things right here these two silver parts this is the flat rack you're gonna make sure gun is again empty so if y'all get in the comments saying, oh my God, he's pointing his gun at himself. It's honestly towards the door and I'm just trying to show y'all. It's on that rack right there. Sorry, I'm trying to angle it with the camera. 
on that rack slide all the way down perfectly like that and then i'm just gonna turn it this way so i can see that my pin is this little part right here is in there you don't want to bend that too much sometimes it's already it's you know i know you're gonna say oh my god you just bent it no that's supposed to look like that but sometimes when people slide their things back too hard that part can break chip bend even more and cause your whole gun to not even fire because that port that part right here is very important that it's bent it's certain way and not any more any less so we're gonna take our time i can feel it it's already ready to click give it a, fu a function test real clean Love that sound. I know y'all love that too. That thing is that bad boy. Woo! Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for staying in tune with me for the gun cleaning. And to do with that raffle that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Sorry, I'm doing my cleaning up, clean up while I talk, but um. Let me go get the list for y'all. <laughs> I'm back. I'm, I'm laughing because I put it on a receipt. But yeah, it's either going to be a Ruger 5.7, a Hell Puff Draco, Zestava, you know. I I know my guns a little bit, so you know I think the American version of the Draco, if I can't find the Draco, the Stava is a uh, Hell Pup, but um, you know the Draco, whatever, whatever is the Stava, if I can find it. But uh, if not the Ruger 5.7 or the Hell Pup, it'll be a Glock 10 millimeter. Or I've actually seen, and I'm damn kind of more interested in going to fill it out in the store in my hand is the uh smith and western 10 millimeter because it has more patented grips and stuff like that it's more textured and i think right around here the back sights the rear end sights are more propped up you know who you know who when you get your guns and stuff like that you don't really want to get aftermarket parts so you want everything uh kind of come with the gun already so it has really great rear sights uh Trijicon night sights I feel like I believe and they have an option of a thumb safety on one of them so I think I might you know because it's in the house and it's a 10 mil it's a bigger caliber I might want to have to get the thumb safety whatever whatever um less than 10 millimeter or I'm gonna throw a wild card on there y'all honestly I don't know. I'm going to throw a wild card on there. But uh, if you stay to this end of the video, Ruger 5.7, Hell Pup Draco, or 10 millimeter. It's up to y'all. Let me know down in the comments what should I get next.